Sorry for the cliche, but I think this car, this Italian car is a very cool car. In the game, the car um, I really like to drive is the Zonda Cinque. I love Italian cars. It's like you are flying. One of the decisions we had to take uh, when we started Test Drive Unlimited 2, uh, it was uh, do we uh, keep the old uh, racing engine or do we develop a new one? And because we have been a little bit frustrated uh, by the first one and, and we couldn't deliver the experience we wanted, uh, we des decided to, uh, uh, to rework and to recraft from scratch. For this game, it's quite important how we balance the handling out. So it's always been about this kind of balance between arcade and simulation handling. And we'd kind of reworked the whole handling to kind of achieve the aim of upgrading this for the new game. To achieve that, what we wanted to do is to uh, have a, a basis uh, of the physics engine as realistic as possible, so everything is simulated. With this new handling, you can drive a uh, classical car, you can drive uh, small power cars and very high-end cars like those ones. With this type of cars, uh, it's the more diffi most difficult element that the player will have to, uh, uh, to, to, to deal with is to uh, uh, judge how much power do I uh, transfer to the car. Uh, and this is something uh, we uh, um, add assistances uh, for the player to be more comfortable with. Of course, when, when it's raining in TDU2, uh, the roads get wet and the handling taking account this parameter. Uh, it changes the way the grip on the tires are in contact with the road. Uh, we had to simulate that as close to the reality as possible. So it's take a very large variety of different cars, different handling, different kind of uh, surface that you go on and uh, weathers. What we have now, it's uh, 90 plus cars. So the beta side of things was an interesting one. I mean, we went into that with, you know, a couple of kind of things we, we chiefly wanted to achieve. When you are developing handling, uh, you are too close to it to judge it. Really, there's nothing like actual players, the multitude of different configurations, playing in a multitude of different ways, all at the same time, going wherever they fancy rather than where we tell them to really know how the game will perform. We have so many fans in, in this game that make really, really good work, that uh, answer the, our questions, make very precise feedbacks on bugs, handling, everything that comes in the game. The other big thing for us was just trying to push up how many people were playing the game at the same time. Look what happened in the real world, because there's only so many people you can get internally playing it, even with a nice large test group, it's nothing compared to a, a real world play environment. So it helped us kind of emulate that. And the good things about Test Drive is uh, that it's a game that uh, uh, we will stay with the community together and continue developing. You know, we've put our heart and souls into this game for the last few years and we've been working with many of the fans out there to try and get it exactly right and on the nail and we're all very excited that it's going to be coming out soon. What we are sure is uh, every player will find his car. Thank you.